If you've learned enough speaking techniques and you're ready to practice at a level where people will better understand you, you're in the right place. I'm SLP Carey, and in today's video, we will practice one speaking technique and we'll use it at a level where you can use this every time you greet someone. People love when you speak English using vocal contrast. And one way to do this is to emphasize key words in every sentence you speak. You take the key word and you stretch the core vowel. This is also known as syllable stress. If it's a single syllable word, you would stretch the only vowel. Stand. Out. For multisyllable words, stretch the vowel in the stressed syllable. Emphasize. If you're ever not sure which syllable to stretch, the website dictionary.com, it highlights the part of the word that gets the stretch. Listeners appreciate when you add vocal contrast because you're helping them out. You're letting them know which words are more important or more meaningful to pay attention to. And it also comes across as having you sound more energized or passionate, for example, because you're increasing your vocal variety. Let's practice together. Warm up with an initial greeting word. I find it helpful to first do it short and then stretched, and then again, to play around with how you might like your voice to sound. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 Hey there. Hey there. Hey there, you try. Now state your name. I'm Carrie. I'm Carrie. I'm Carrie Van Dongen. Notice the slight pause between my first and last names. Introduce your name. Follow up with a conversation starter. Notice which word I've highlighted in the following sample starters. Working on anything exciting? What's been the highlight of your week? Have any fun facts about you? If you weren't here, what would you rather be doing? Pause this video so you can practice one or all of those conversation starters. Because people typically won't open up until you share first, practice responding to one of those conversation starters. If I wasn't here, I'd be helping my mom out with my dad's rehab. Mom's role as the primary caregiver has recently escalated. We're collaborating on ways I could help out more. Pause the video again and respond to one of the conversation starters. Let's practice the entire greeting all together. Hi, I'm Carrie. 
if I wasn't here, I'd be helping my mom out with my dad's rehab. Mom's role as the primary caregiver has recently escalated and we're collaborating on ways I could help out more. If you weren't here, what might you be doing? Pause the video and practice your entire greeting. Now it's time to keep it going and to practice at a level where people will notice you've been improving. Yes. That means to find someone that you can try out this technique of stretching a core vowel while you're greeting. I get it. If you're thinking, I don't want any critical feedback. How about this? Practice with someone who can't possibly give you any critical feedback. That relative who thinks the world of you and wouldn't know critical feedback if it smacked them on the head. A preschooler or someone who doesn't speak any English at all. And I guarantee you that they will notice that your speech is easier to understand, even if they can't give you any critical feedback. <laughs> 